This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Oh, what's up people, Dobson Wars is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Before we start, please check out GeekRetreat.com They're amazing products and today we open up a brand new starter slash structure deck Cyber Strike Now why am I opening this up now after opening up them amazing packs? It's because we got a lot, a lot of amazing Cyber Dark cards and a lot of amazing Cyber Dragon cards, so I can really make a very dangerous deck out of this, out of them, out of them cards that I just pulled. So I'm going to open this up and see what I think about it as it's as a core, without adding anything to it. So let's go ahead and crack it open. And I've heard a lot, a lot of people saying that this is definitely going to be up there in tournaments. A lot of people are definitely going to be using using this deck no matter what so i'll be quite scared about it if you guys go into tournaments with this so you have yourself the awesome playmat as always it's a shame the Ammon got this as a actual playmat there probably is it's upside down whoop de do but anyhow the packs that you need to make this deck even stronger besides the legendary uh, doer sets you have yourselves dawn and majesty lightning overdrive uh, Phantom Rage and Blazing Vortex. Not bad cards, can't complain. But let's go ahead and open this up as the core itself without adding any cards to it. So right from the get-go, Cyberdark Chimera. That looks threatening. So let's open this up. Let's see what the all the kerfuffle is all about because a lot of people are talking about this a lot of people are excited about it make sure you get yourself some Dawn of the Majesties that are new from this set and make sure you get yourself this game on the Nintendo Switch I have it it's awesome I like playing it I don't play Duel Links because I'm not very fun, fond of it but let's check this out so we have ourselves an Ultra Rare Cyber Dark Chimera that looks really really good and the look of the um, effect looks like it's quite strong as well you can discard one spell and trap card and add one power bond from your deck to your hand. That is good. We've got Cyber Dark Realm. I've heard about this card a bit on the internet. We have ourselves an ultra rare Cyber End Dragon. We've got Cyber Dark End Dragon right there, which sadly is bled a little bit, which is a bit of a bummer. It's been looks like the printer has done its bad days with it. A few Cyber Dark Dragon and Cyber End Dragon. 5,000 attacker, that is strong. That's just enough to draw a kill with five-headed dragon. That's nice. The cybernetic horizon, and once again, the foil is bled out, which is a shame, but either way, they're mine, they're opened. Cyber dragon his uh, fusion deployment. Wow. Just wow. That card alone is worth pennies a lot of people will be buying this deck because of this no matter what so that's good and it's a, and it's a super rare which is also great let's have a look at the commons then we got uh, Cybine, we got cyber dragon cyber dragon zeal dairy vera uh nicasta which we just got an ultra rare of that we got core we got Cyber Formus, which we also got as an Ultra Rare 2. Uh, Cyber Valley, Cyber Phoenix, Cyber Horn, Cyber Dark Edge, Cyber Dark Keel, the Dark Cannon, Dark Claw. We got Leng Ling. Okay, it's a Union. We got ourselves the Star Destroyer Kaijus. Okay, Kaijus are in this deck as well. We got ourselves the Sky Slasher. Okay. We got Galadogra, which is an old G card back in the old days, so that's good to see this thing come back. You can pay 3,000 life points and send one monster from your extra deck to your graveyard. Why would you do that? <laughs> We've got Cyber Eternal, Cyber with Player Plant, Cyber Emergency, Cyber Lo Lord Fusion, Cyber Dark Impact, Cyber Dark Inferno, Future Fusion, of course, Fusion Tag, Machine Duplication, Limit Removal. Oh my freaking god, Power Wall, I call it Haunted of course. We got Canadia, we got Cybernetic Overflow, we got the Over Dragon, Cyber Darkness Dragon, Cyber Dark Dragon, Power Bond, Overlord Fusion. This deck is cheap. Holy crap. I don't care what people say, if you face me with this deck, I'm not facing you. I'll lose in seconds. Oh my god, this deck is so overpowered. 
I will not be surprised if Yu-Gi-Oh, when they get the new ban list, ban some of these cards. These these cards are freaking dangerous. I'm serious. Super dangerous. So, what do I rate out of 10 in combat? This thing is purely an offense. Hardly no defending whatsoever. You don't even need to defend with this deck. It's pretty much go all out offense, stall, get your fusions out, and then just wail on it. That's all you need to do. And to be honest though, do I like that format? Of course I do, because I like going out all the time, but sometimes I do need to defend sometimes. And that's the one thing about this thing is lacking in, defense. It's got probably about four or five cards that are good for defending, but that is it. Bit scary to be honest if they get destroyed and you've got nothing left because mm, you can't really stop it. But either way, I can give this a definitely a solid 9 out of 10 for deck profile. If you add more cards to it, of course it will be beyond a 10. It will be at least a 12 to a 13 out of 10 because it will be so damn overpowered. You don't want to, nobody would want to face you. So yeah, if you guys want to try it out, definitely go ahead and buy one of these. I would definitely encourage you to get at least two decks of this. And if you can find them, get yourself some Legendary Duelist um, Season 2 or Dragon of Legends Complete Series, if you can find them. Or as well, you can easily go ahead and buy some st standard single packs and see if you can make something completely better. Anyhow, that's all i got time for today, people. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. And please check out Geek Retreat, the place to be. And... Um, as always, please check them out though, people, because they're just so friendly. And they've helped me out a lot to get these products as much as I can. And also, they help out a lot of people as well. If they have it, they'll sell it. With that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Man, oh man. These structure decks are getting beyond powerful. I'm scared for the future of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! Oh!